What is up witches and wizards, muggles and nomads, I'm Animagus and today I want to talk to you about a feature that kind of snuck in under the radar in update 2.13. It actually recently came in an update but they had to take it out because of performance issues and impacts that it had on a lot of the player base. But it has been fine tuned and now it's going to be really really fun to play with. I'm really looking forward to this and I'm looking forward to showing you exactly how this is going to work for us as players but I want to talk to you about the brand new photo mode it's something really awesome where you can go into any encounter any encounter at all that you have found on your world map you can enter into ar mode switch over to your camera from that capture an image and then customize it using the portrait frame system any of the lenses that you've unlocked any of the animated stickers that you have and once you have completely finished that you can then take that and upload it to social media you can download it your phone and then re-upload it to your ministry ID. The possibilities here are endless and I'm really excited about this feature. So I want to go ahead and dive into this with you. So without further ado, let's take a look at the brand new photo mode. So before we get started and I thought it would make more sense to come outside and do an actual live demo, I do want to go ahead and let you guys know that 2.13.1, a hot fix or a smaller patch if you will, has been implemented into Harry Potter Wizards Unite so you can go download that from your store now. And there are a few things that were fixed including uh, the connection loss pop up whenever you get into the game and then leave the night bus. Um, I actually still have that pop up every time so I'm not sure what the issue is with that, why it even shows up still. But it's not that big of a deal because it doesn't really impact the game performance. It's just an annoying pop-up. The more important thing that I want to talk about over these particular patch notes, and again, you can check it out on Reddit or in my Discord and game news section. Wherever you are, you can find the access to these news that, that will basically just go over the update. The most important thing about the update, though, that I want to talk about is, of course, the complimentary gift. Now, the complimentary gift, of course, comes from the fact that a lot of people lost fragments, and this is just a little bit of salt, like a small compensation, I guess you could say, uh, that contains 250 gold, 15 restricted section books, 15 red spell books, and six of each extemulo variant, uh, which is great. Again, like I said, when this first got released or announced or whatever, that it is a good start. You know, I think that it's a good start um, to, you know, kind of helping out, I guess, the player base or, you know, thanking them for patience during this time. So now I want to actually show you what the photo mode looks like. I want you to see that you can do this with literally any foundable. The cool thing is, and again, if you want to, you know, check out the screen, you can see here live. This is me here live doing this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see which foundable, first of all, that I want to take a picture of. And this is a lot like the live photo mode that you can do, or not live photo mode, but the photo mode that you can do inside of your registry. It's just that if you don't have this particular foundable available for photo mode in your registry yet because you haven't unlocked it, or it's not available for photo mode normally because not every foundable is. There are a lot of foundables that are excluded from uh, photo mode inside your registry. So I wanna go ahead and show you what this looks like live. As you can see, I've got Hedwig here and I'm going to walk out into the yard. And as you can see, I've got Hedwig on my screen. Now what you're gonna wanna do is turn AR mode on. So as soon as you turn AR mode on, you can see Hedwig is hanging out right there. Now all you have to do, and make sure that you avoid aligning the stars or you will begin the encounter, but all you have to do is tap up in the top right part of your screen and you click the little camera button. And now, all of a sudden, you've got Hedwig. Now the trick with this, and it's a little bit unfortunate, is that you can't move or resize. If you move your screen you know, to the left or right, there's my camera. If you move your screen to the left or right, Hedwig doesn't really move with you. So that is a little bit unfortunate. You can't necessarily position it exactly where you want it every single time. It's not like photo mode where you can move and position and all of that jazz. Uh, but yeah, so what I'm gonna do here is I want to go ahead and enter the photo mode and take a picture and then we can talk about how it looks after you take the photo. So there's Hedwig, I'm gonna get her in action and you have three options here. You can download, you can customize, or you can share. Now you can share this to social media, continue to customize using those animated portrait frames, stickers, lenses, what have you, or download it straight to your phone or on your device, whatever you're using to play with, in order to save that photo on your device. Now I'm gonna go to customize, and it will allow me to drag the frame up or down. It won't go left or right, but it will go up or down. So you can sort of frame it up a little bit better, but again, it's not 100%. 
and then when you get it exactly how you want you just hit next so now that I've hit next it's gonna let me position things in a certain way like if I wanted to do these portrait lenses I could do something like that uh, I could do a red and gold you can't really see Hedwig there it kind of looks washed out <laughs> Yeah, I don't really like that one too much. So I'm gonna just go with none for this particular photo. And again, this isn't a very beautiful photo, but you're seeing the feature itself. So I'm, I'm looking forward to playing with this a lot. Um, I think it'll be a blast. You could obviously put frames around it if you wanted to uh, and all of that jazz, which is really cool because again, like I said, this is live. So this is all happening while the encounter is still live on the map. And then here you go, you can see all of the stickers if you want some of the featured stickers, uh, Halloween pumpkins, the Oni from this, you know, I mean like, again, just as an example, this isn't necessarily something that I would put on there. Uh, but yeah, th it's a really cool feature. I really like the idea of this. I love the idea of being able to find things in the actual, let's say Hedwig's carrying a howler or something like that. <laughs> And there you go. So after you're all done uh, with this, you can return to editing by hitting the return button, download or share to social media. And once you download it, you can then re-upload it and use it as your ministry ID photo. So this is something that I'm really looking forward to manipulating. Say I have a photo that I've curated of myself or something like that. I could go into that and then put something on top of it in like Photoshop and re-upload it. They're, like the possibilities are pretty endless here. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing what the player base can come up with I'm really looking forward to what uh, people are going to create and I love the idea of being able to interact with foundables in real time in AR of course being able to capture those really rare moments and seeing those rare foundables and all of that good stuff so I love the idea of this I think it's a really cool feature and uh, yeah I want to hear your thoughts too so let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section is this a feature that you're going to use a lot is this a feature you don't really care about um, hopefully it's enough of a tutorial so you guys can realize that there are a lot of options here I could have gone through all of those stickers I could have gone through all of the portrait lenses and all of the frames and all of that stuff and it would have taken a really long time it's basically like its own Instagram service now. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys can come up with. If you did appreciate the video and the tutorial, let me know by leaving a thumbs up down below as well as clicking that red subscribe button and making sure that you ring that bell notification so you are made aware the next time I produce a piece of Wizards Unite content. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And until next time, peace.